it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got what I call my Japanese dragon colouring book. I've had it for quite a while. I had to tilt it up there because the dust jacket is very glossy and it is really shining off my camera. So it has a gorgeous dust jacket on it as well as coloured inspirational images and a cute little folder. Now this is one that we have to open the other way around <laughs> so let me get the right order it's upside down and around so there we have it so we've got a protective paper at the front and I don't know what the word for this is in some countries where you turn the book around and it starts the other way my mind is a complete blank. If someone knows what the word is, they can let me know in the comments below before I lose my mind completely. I know there's a word for it. So we start out, we've got Japanese text and some illustrations of the artist at events by the looks of it that he's done. Super talented. Now this is one of the books, as I said, I've had it for a while and I haven't fallen in love with it because the illustrations are things that... I, I just don't see myself colouring, there's, there's just not enough detail for me, but when they are coloured, they are absolutely stunning, and there's pictures in here that show that, so it might be within your capabilities, but it's not within mine at the moment, I just don't see it. But isn't this gorgeous? This is one of the coloured inspirational images from the book, and here and here. And you can see that if you have the skills and the talent to do this, that you can make some really beautiful artwork. But I'm just a beginner and I feel a little bit intimidated by it. Each to their own, we're all different. Now, it's gorgeous paper that these coloured illustrations are on. Isn't this one beautiful? And there's some text there. I haven't translated the text, so I don't really know what it is meant to say but looks good so here's our illustrations and they look kind of simple they're in a dull gray and it's very light but as i said when you see them colored they really come to life now the paper is thick and it's uh oh, at least a medium uh quality maybe a bit more it has a slight texture across it, and as you can see, the illustrations are on both sides. I don't, I just don't feel that I could colour this, but I'm sure that so many of you could just absolutely nail it. But to me, I'm a little bit intimidated by this book, which is probably why it sat on my to be reviewed a pile for a couple of years now. <laughs> It's funny the things that I find uh, scary in books. Now, aren't the images gorgeous? I mean, seriously cute dragons and lovely scenes like that we haven't seen in other colouring books interspersed with some florals and butterflies, which seems a little bizarre to me, but hey, it's a colouring book and you can do whatever you fancy. But uh, there's all sorts of images here. I, I'm just not sure how I feel about it, to be honest, but, you know, there's a colouring book for everyone, as I always say, so, you know, there's several colouring books for me. So, gorgeous flowers and images. It's a really dark grey, sometimes a subtle black line art. The good thing about the line art is it's quite thick. So, if you do have a visual impairment, it's you know thick enough to see and even though it's in that dull gray or extremely light black that you could see it if you're visually impaired and little things like scales and stuff if you've got a visual or a motor impairment don't worry about doing each scale individually just go over the whole top <laughs> that's what i do when I can't be bothered putting my glasses on, which is always more often than not, because I can never remember where I put my glasses. So this one's got a grey background on it. And as you can see, it's folding down pretty flat. 
And the paper is an off-colour white. It's not a bright, shiny white. And there's this text all in between it. So it's a lovely book, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's a book for me. Uh, see, I just don't know how to deal with a picture like this where you've got the claws and then all that white space. But I know everyone else does. Now, I think this is a illustration component of where you can learn how to draw by following along uh, with the steps or maybe just practice your colouring on these. Practice your elements before you tackle the bigger picture. And we're back to the coloured section. It says, let's try tracing and painting. And so they're giving you techniques. I mean, they've got the little girl and the little boy doing it, so surely I could manage it. So maybe the idea is that you do your own line tracing over the dark grey that they've got. But personally, I like the dark grey because it sort of leads to like a painterly look, but each to your own. Now, they've got some brand of markers here called Urutsuki markers and Fuda pen. Probably uh, completely mispronouncing those, but it looks like that they're water-based and they might go through the book or go on the book rather than alcohol-based, which would go through the the painting. Look at these giant murals he does. Isn't he talented? What an amazing artist. So much talent. Look, imagine doing that on the ceiling. Jeez, I can barely paint a ceiling with one colour of white. And he's doing a whole dragon on there. And so now we've just got text and it's in colour, which is nice, but and we've got this dragon up against the pink background and some other elements there. So that might be a good one to start with, or maybe this one to practice your uh, colours on and practice your pencils and see what goes through and what doesn't. So that's it for this colouring book from Japan. It is uh, gorgeous. And the links to buy, as always, are below the video. I can never get this right about which way I'm meant to go. <laughs> uh, so that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.